90.3 KEXP online all over the world at kexp.org. I am down the studio and you are listening to Audio Oasis and it's now time for live music by Pleasures on KEXP.
listening to Pleasures on KEXP. To pleasures on KEXP, and they are performing songs from their new album, Softly Wait. Hello, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, um, Softly Wait is a hit album from start to finish. <laughs> thank you. Uh, at least I think so, but the rest of the internet is, hasn't caught on as yet because there's no information about you all there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was kind of hard I'm to do some, some research, but maybe today <laughs> we're going to blow it up. Yeah. Yeah, so Crack it open. Yeah, so I thought we could start out with finding out how Pleasures came to be cuz the band's been around for about 4 years. 4 or 5? Yeah, ish. Yeah. Tell us about the story. Cool. Well, uh George, me and George, mm -hmm. we're from Dayton, Ohio. Uh I guess we met there. Um kind of hit it off with music. Started a started a band there. What was that band's name? It's called Pilots. You three, like, what? like P, P? Pilots, yeah. P titles? Yeah, I guess yeah, we I do. guess so. And there's a lot of and things plurals. Like, like S sounds, mm -hmm. P sounds. Um, yeah, I guess we started a band there and got sick of Dayton, got sick of Ohio. What, uh, what did you get sick about it? Or, I mean, because you were born there and that's all you saw? 
or yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. We need Hard to say. Change of scenery. Yeah. What What happens in Dayton, Dayton, Ohio? Like, um, I mean, musically, I guess a lot of metal and punk. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't fit in. They love Grandcourt. <laughs> in a way, <laughs> yeah. I think we used to, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We started a band, um, and uh, I guess I was like, let's get out of here. We got out of there. Mm -hmm. Never I been agreed. to Seattle before. We just kind of ended up here, so. Did you live together when you got here? Yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, started the new band, and uh, here we are. So was Pilots like Pleasures? No, Power Trio. Yeah. Yeah. I played bass. Mm -hmm. George is on the guitar, naturally. Shredder. Uh, James Lampy on drums. We miss him. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, Lampy. James Lampy. Uh, so speaking of pleasures, you have evolving members, but it's always you two. True. Essentially, yeah. yeah. A lot of turnover. Hopefully not too much turnover <laughs> now. You're happy with what you have. Oh, yeah. Or they're happy, at least. Yeah, yeah. I've still got some new members here. Um, Adrian Kerr on the saxophone. It's been really, been really cool having Adrian nice around. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely like a new thing for us. Uh, I guess like a new bar for the music. Saxophone, yeah. such an, an expressive instrument. Um, so I'm digging that. We've got Michael over here on the keys. Very new. Um, so we're glad to have him. Lewis is uh, on the bass over there. He's toured with us before. Um, you know, has his own projects and uh, just went on this tour recently, so I snagged him up again. Here we are. Riley Norman on the drums. Woo. Thanks for being here, Riley. Thank you. Yeah. So, I think out of all of the instruments, drums, uh, we've had the most drummers. Lost uh, one to Harvard, one to New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah, Good other reasons, projects. But... Do you think he's going to stick around? What do you it's up to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you just went on tour recently. Mm -hmm. Did you go around the country? I did, yeah. Um, and you went with a band called the Dingback? Ding Ding, Dingbat Superminx. Yeah. Yeah, Dingbat Superminx. Aaron Baker out of Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. Great music, great songwriter, uh, a performer. It's good to uh, kind of tour with uh, Aaron and uh, just, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of feed off of each other. So how was tour? It was amazing. It was really long. I don't know. It was kind of long. It was like a month and a half. Yeah. Or whatever. That's long. Yeah. It was kind of long. Uh, a lot of cosmic experiences, you know. Can you talk about those cosmic experiences? Oh, I don't know. Just the whole thing is, you know, a pretty mystical thing. Mm -hmm. You know, meet a lot of beautiful people, do a lot of awesome things. Um, yeah, lots of swimming. Lots of music. Dancing on the beach? Dancing on the beach. Yeah. Was that your favorite part? Uh... Maybe. I don't know. I think my favorite part was uh, just uh, playing every night. Yeah. You know, getting performance adrenaline every single night. Kind of relying on that. Did they um, all react like me and thought the album was a hit and just, like, flipped out? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I uh, never really got to go over to the East Coast and do anything. Um, so this is kind of, like, all about getting over there. Mm -hmm. We went up into Canada. Cool. Um, like, Toronto, Montreal, and then kind of made our way down. So that's kind of, like, a new... A new uh, territory for us, so I wasn't expecting much, but I definitely wanted to go shake hands. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For next time. Next time. Networking. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I love this album a lot, and you all wrote and arranged it. Yeah. You too. Mm -hmm. Where did you record? Uh, we recorded between, uh, I guess, uh, my bedroom and George's uh, living room. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I uh, my favorite. Songs, my two favorite, you performed first, Cruising with Drink in Studio 7. Mm -hmm. cool. And I just love the lyrics the most. They're fun to sing in both of those songs. I love the whole entire album. Softly Wait is great, too. The whole thing is great. But it was just really nice when I first heard it. Well, actually, I had heard Star and Equal Time, and I was like, actually, I've been waiting for you guys to, like, release something. I wrote you fan mail and was like waiting. Uh, and then that song just kind of slipped in and then you were all on tour. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to just find out what is Cruising with Drink about? Um, Cruising with Drink is kind of about, I guess, somebody who's originally was unaware, grew up in a cult. And 
kind of like was just in that, that world for a while. And um, before it was too late, kind of, you know, changed their mind, you know, almost cruised with the drink and then narrow escape. So it's not about drink, drinking and driving. I'll tell you that. But That's good. I was really worried. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that uh, <laughs> it's just called cruising on the radio. Yeah. Oh, it's probably my fault. No, it's okay. I'm really I just sorry thought maybe, about that. Uh, thought maybe we were making a mistake. But, I but. have made many mistakes, but I'm sorry about that one. No, no, not you. <laughs> me. Um, yeah, it's just kind of about, I don't know. It's just a weird story about somebody. Do you know this person or you made it up? Uh, yeah, I suppose I know somebody like that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Studio 7. Studio 7? Um, Studio 7 is funny. Um, I guess George and I were kind of just uh, making some music one day, and uh, it just kind of came out. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure. I've actually, personally, I've never been to Studio 7. I, I worked right by there, and I would often go out and watch, you know, the young teenage sort of emo punk people, like, <laughs> wait in line for hours to see yeah. whoever is playing there. I don't actually know, but... I think Killing Joke is playing there soon. Cool. It makes me want to go. Yeah. I've never, I've never actually been I've in there. I've never really been either. I, I would often walk by there and yeah. study. So it's not about the club. It's just uh, in it, general. I guess it's sort of about the club. What do you want to say? Yeah, I mean, it? it's sort of, I feel like it's a, kind of a nostalgic song about youth and that time when you're young and going to shows is exciting and, yeah. you know. But I guess, carefree. like, you know, not to, like, I don't know say anything, but I guess I've heard unsavory things or whatever, so it's kind of just like, I don't know, it's kind of just like a... I guess in respect to it, it is a place that people can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. But, you know, it just kind of gave us a, an atmosphere for this song. Yeah. About maybe find, making a better choice or doing something else. Yeah. You know. Pure Northwest vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we should hear some more music from Softly Wait. Yeah. You're listening to Pleasure is on KEXP. Now we're going to play the song Softly Wait.
Pleasures on KEXP. Stuck in a moment.
pleasure is performing songs from their hit album, Softly Wait, here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. These songs are the best. They're just like the best to listen to and dance to and watch you all. Um, and in light of that, you were performing a couple shows that yeah. we can talk right. about. Yeah. July 14th, you're playing, <laughs> you're playing the bash and that's going to be huge. That's going to be it's sick. It's at Inscape yeah. Arts. It's going to feature a ton of local bands. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember who the nonprofit is. Do you all know? Mm. No. We'll get it up no. on the online playlist because yeah. it's important. And the other one is August 4th. Yeah, Wayne Stock. Wayne Stock. We should explain Wayne what Stock. Wayne Stock is. Wayne Stock. Well, yeah. I think, yeah. Wayne Stock at Volunteer Park, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Um, originally was Green Garden Gnome Fest. Something like that. And it's um, a typical Joe Wayne thing to call it. Joe Wayne of... Joe Wayne of Thank You and, and Joe Wayne Band. Yes. <laughs> and just a uh, human about town. He's pretty amazing. Yeah. Love Joe. He's um, pretty silly. Yeah. Funny guy. Um, set, up the, uh, set up the show. I think uh, he got some requests for it to be called uh, Wayne Stock. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. With, yeah. A, with an eye. Yeah. But yeah, eight bands, eight cool bands. Uh, I think it's from 5 to 10 p.m. Volunteer Park. Completely um, free. Yeah, completely free. I haven't heard anything about <laughs> money. I just think it's a selling point. Yeah. Free. Yeah. free is always a selling point. And early. Point. Five to free is ten. Yeah, and five to ten. Good yeah. slot. I mean, I don't know. I think we got other things that we have to pay for. I agree. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, lots of cool people on that bill. Mm -hmm. um, Tons of cool people. Yeah, Brianna Morella's on it. Mm -hmm. Deja Blue from Olympia. Yeah, they're really great. great. Mm -hmm. um, Jenner F is also from Olympia. Yeah, awesome. Uh, really great stuff. Baby Jessica's on that bill. I think I saw Terminator. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pleasures. Um, who else? Is, who else is? On? Am I forgetting? I wrote it all down. Did but you? I did. Uh, I feel like that was almost date. Alia's playing. Oh, nice. From KXP. And you got everyone else. Oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. All right. Thank you so much for being here. The yeah, album is thank super you cool. so much for having us. Yeah. Very, very wonderful. And I look forward to uh, hearing more from you all. Thank you so much yeah. for having us. You've been listening to Pleasures here on Audio Oasis 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.